Hey, this is it is I Stacy. Okay, today we're doing um the the eleventh card. I'm not sure if I said it right, uh in my last video. Uh I think with the Wheel of Fortune, but um uh you can't really see. Okay. In most decks, it's called the Justice card. Uh but in the Alistair Crawley uh deck Crawley, Crowley, whatever you wanna call them. It's okay. Um, it's the eleventh card, the lust card. Okay, so the, um, he did switch them uh, for a reason. Works for me. That's because that's the deck I use. Okay, so the eleventh tarot card in the weight deck is called justice. Now in the top deck, it's called adjustment, which is the same thing, justice, which usually means law, writing, you know, stuff like that, mail. Uh, you know, because we're moving into 2022 now, and things are a little bit different. So, anyway, the 11th card of the tarot in the weight deck is called Justice. And it's uh, pretty much the same as Adjustment in the top deck. He's just switched them. Okay, Reasonableness, Justice. Proper Balance, because it's, a you know, the lawyer sign with the, um, the woman holding the, uh, blindfold and um, weighing in the balance. They used to weigh uh, the hearts that way. But anyway, that's another story if you want to get into it. So anyway, the weight deck. Reasonableness, justice, proper balance, harmony, righteousness, whether favorable or not. However, it's fairness and impartial, um, you know, it's like uh, I have no emotional thoughts like a judge. Uh, you come in and tell your story and the other person tells their story and then the judge makes a decision So um, so it's proper balance, but impartial uh, um, Judgment now if reversed and the top deck doesn't do the reverse, but you can still do reverse if you want to uh, bias false accusations We've all been there. You know one of those accusers. I know what you did, right? I can't stand accusers Bias, false accusations, bigotry, intolerance, and abuse. Remember that. False accusations is a type of an abuse. But anyway, so, in the top deck, number 11 is the lust card, which is very interesting on its own. It means courage, strength, and energy. So it's completely physical, but yet there's mentalness still involved in it. Use of magical powers, great love affair, physical, sexual. It's complete um, strength and movement too, so if that makes sense. Okay, the strength card. In other decks, it's called the strength card in, um, in some decks. Okay, victory over difficulties, successful, and to a tiresome event, spiritual strength. Sharp and incisive mental action. So, we have th three different types of decks, but yet, uh, all meaning and mixing together. It's a, a very physical card, but yet, in some, it means spiritual strength. So, it's like, you know, you know you're talking yourself up to, uh, you got to go do this. And it's, you know, it's building up the strength. Uh, and mental action. So... I hope that makes sense, but like I said, that's three different, um, even though it's number 11, it's three different cards, and uh, each deck made their own uh, little thing there, so, yeah, it's very confusing, but um, it depends on what deck you're using, but I'm talking about the Toth and mostly the, um, the weight deck, so, so anyway, I hope that helps, and I'll see you again on the next card until we're done all 22 of the trumps thank you and everybody have a good day